Femora, also known as letrozole, is a medication used to treat certain types of breast cancer in women after menopause. It is specifically used for hormone receptor positive breast cancer and can also help prevent the cancer from returning. This medication works by decreasing the amount of estrogen the body makes, which in turn helps to slow down or reverse the growth of these types of breast cancers. The daily dosage and the optimal timing for taking Femora should be determined by a healthcare professional. Before starting Letrozole, make sure to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually once daily. The dosage will depend on your medical condition and how you respond to the treatment. To get the most benefit, use this medication regularly and try to take it at the same time each day. It's important to note that pregnant women should not handle this medication or breathe the dust from the tablets, as the drug can be absorbed through the skin and lungs. If your condition worsens, such as developing new breast lumps, inform your doctor right away. Some common side effects of femora may include hot flashes, hair loss, bone pain, tiredness, unusual sweating, nausea, diarrhea, dizziness, and trouble sleeping. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist right away. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the risk of side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's essential to contact your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects such as persistent nausea or vomiting, bone fractures, pain or swelling in the joints, muscles, or tendons, changes in mental or mood, swelling in the arms or legs, blurred vision, unusual tiredness, dark urine, or yellowing of the eyes or skin. In rare cases, this medication may cause serious problems related to blood clots, such as heart attack or stroke. Seek medical help right away if you experience sudden shortness of breath, chest or jaw pain, confusion, coughing up blood, sudden dizziness, pain or swelling in the groin or calf, tingling, weakness, or numbness in the arms or legs, trouble speaking, weakness on one side of the body, changes in vision, or sudden and severe headache. Although very rare, a serious allergic reaction to this drug can occur. Seek immediate medical help if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching, swelling, especially of the face, tongue, throat, or neck, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed above. In the U.S., you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. And in Canada, you can report any side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before taking Femora, make sure to inform your doctor about any allergies you may have to letrozole or anastrozole, as well as any other allergies you may have. Let your doctor know about your medical history, especially if you have high blood fats, bone problems, stroke or blood clots, heart disease, high blood pressure, kidney problems, or liver problems. This medication may cause dizziness, tiredness, or blurred vision. Avoid alcohol or marijuana, as they can make these symptoms worse. Do not drive or use machinery until you can do so safely. Limit alcoholic beverages and talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana. Before undergoing surgery, inform your doctor about all the medications and products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Femora should not be used during pregnancy, as it may harm an unborn baby. It is mainly used in women after menopause. If you have recently gone through menopause, discuss the need for reliable forms of birth control while taking this medication and for three weeks after stopping treatment with your doctor. Do not use birth control products containing estrogen. If you become pregnant or think you may be pregnant, inform your doctor immediately. It is not known if this drug passes into breast milk. It is not recommended to breastfeed while using this drug and for at least three weeks after stopping treatment. Consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When taking Femora, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. These interactions can affect how Femora works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's essential to keep a list of all the medications and herbal products you are using and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. 
do not make any changes to your medication dosage without consulting your doctor. Some products that may interact with femora include estrogens like ethanyl estradiol and conjugated estrogens, as well as estrogen blockers such as anastrozole and tamoxifen. It's important to discuss any potential interactions with your healthcare provider. If you or someone else has overdosed on femora and is experiencing severe symptoms such as fainting or difficulty breathing, call 911 immediately. Otherwise, contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. Remember, do not share ephemera with others. It's important to have regular lab and medical tests while taking this medication, including bone density tests, cholesterol levels, and liver function. Make sure to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. Femora can increase the risk of bone loss, also known as osteoporosis. Discuss your risk with your doctor and ask about available treatments for osteoporosis. Lifestyle changes that can reduce the risk of bone loss include doing weight-bearing exercise, getting enough calcium and vitamin D, quitting smoking, and limiting alcohol. And when it comes to taking femora, always follow your doctor's prescribed dosage and take it at the optimal time for you. If you forget to take a dose of femora, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Remember to store ephemera at room temperature, away from light and moisture. It's important not to keep it in the bathroom and to always keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of ephemera, make sure you don't flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company on the proper way to discard this medication when it's expired or no longer needed. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.